It's that time once again. Let's get to it. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Welcome back to another video. This is the November 12th edition of our Go Practice series. I hope you're having a great day today. Once again, we're running our daily drill set 11 in this video. And I'm going to get straight into it because I'm trying to keep this one relatively snappy. Plenty of other things to be getting on with today. So, here's exercise one, our stability drill. This one is a long setting exercise, which means we're going to keep the mouthpiece on our lips throughout the entire thing. We're going at 60 beats a minute on the metronome. We've got to count carefully, tap our foot, and subdivide the beat. And try and play everything we're supposed to play directly on schedule. This particular pattern has both static bends and regular bends. And it's something we're probably familiar with by now, because we've played this for quite a few days. So I'm not going to say too much else about it. Let's get into playing exercise one.
There's exercise one down. So, personally my response is coming along quite nicely after that. And so it's going to be time to get things moving with exercise two. This is our motion drill, part flexibility, part scale. We're going to increase the tempo slightly once again on this occasion. And once we feel good about this tempo, which is going to be 92 beats a minute, then we're going to introduce the repeat in the scale pattern. But for today's video, we're still going to leave that out. So we're going to make the first repeat, which is the fast version of the flexibility, but we're not going to repeat the scale section of this pattern just to keep it a little short so we don't get too bogged down in worrying about how much air we need while we're just getting our fingers around the scale. So each phrase of this is going to be slurred all the way through. I'm going to make three bars rest in between keys. And this one is not a long setting exercise. So at those three bars rest, make sure to take the mouthpiece off your lips and then breathe and reset for the next key. Not too much else to say. So once again, exercise two at 92 beats a minute. Let's get into playing it.
Yes, due to the manual, you will notice a small edit point at one point in there. My cat decided to come into the studio here and sing along while I was playing the D flat the first time. So I paused the video and once I'd gotten rid of him, I started again from that key without the feline accompaniment. So that's why that happened. Other than that, that one went fairly well. I felt okay about it. I think most probably in tomorrow's video we'll be able to start adding in the articulation on that particular pattern and making the repeat on the scale there. But it was good to just make sure this was under our fingers a little bit before we get into doing that because that's going to raise a couple other different things to deal with. Anyway, let's move on to exercise three. This is a four bar static tonguing drill and what that means in point of fact is that it's a four bar rhythmic pattern which is repeated for a series of pitches in each part. The rhythmic pattern in question is going to be two bars of 16th notes or semiquavers, a one bar hold followed by a one bar rest, four bars in total. And in part one or exercise 3a on the PDF, the pitches we're going to repeat this for are from low C chromatically down to low F sharp. Today we're going to play this at 96 beats a minute. Let's get into doing that. Exercise 3A was nice and smooth and I felt much better about the way my response held in today. So I think that was just a temporary glitch yesterday, nothing more to worry about than that. But I felt good about this today. So let's move on to part two or exercise 3B. In this section, the rhythmic pattern is going to remain the same, but now the sequence of pitches changes. We're going to start on low C and move our way chromatically upwards towards high C. This is a long setting exercise, which means that I'm keeping the mouthpiece on my lips throughout and breathing through my nose at the bar's rest. For this one, we're going to keep the long setting going as far as we can up the sequence. But at any point that we get to where we feel like we're forcing or the sound starts to air out on us, then that should be an indication that we're not playing in the most balanced way. And that's the time to take a short break. Break the setting, get the mouthpiece off of our lips for 15 or 20 seconds, and then reset and carry on from where we left off. So that's what we're going to do. Once again, this is going at 96 beats a minute. In yesterday's video, I more or less made it in to the high C before needing to break the setting. I'm going to see if I can make it all the way through this time in one. Let's find out together.
I made it into the high C again, but it wasn't quite there for me. So it's time to take a short break and then repeat the high C just to get a cleaner version. Let's do that. Exercise 3B once again was an improvement. I made it more securely into the high C, but it still wasn't quite there for me in the first part of the long setting. So that's where I took my break, came back after a short rest and completed it and got a better version on the high C, even though the pitch jumped just for a split second in the middle there. But I feel good about that. I'm feeling much more balanced. I'm finding my feet with this exercise now. So all that remains for this set today is to play 3C, which is our cool down. It's the tonguing thing again, and this time we're going to play from low C back down to low F sharp, same as part one. Good way to cool the chops off and make sure we're going to be well set for anything else we're going to be dealing with afterwards. So let's play that once again at 96 beats a minute. Excellent, we've made it through all of these nice and cleanly today. Feeling quite good about this. For the most part, I'm getting these under my fingers now. I'm feeling pretty good about where they're at. It's going to be good to continue to move forward with these. Increase the tempo on some things. Just generally enjoy the easier response that I'm getting as a result of playing them every day. How are you finding these? I know the comments have been few and far between. I keep asking these questions at the end of the video when comparatively few of you are still watching. But if you are in at this point, please leave me a comment, either with your impressions of these exercises or any questions you may have about them. Other than that, that's what I have for you in this video. I hope you've enjoyed the exercises and playing along with me. If you have, please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll be back with another video tomorrow, although it will probably be a shorter one. But in the meantime, thanks very much for watching and Go practice.